Hey guys, this is Rick and Tim, two brothers outdoors. We're gonna run a short video here. If you see on the middle, we got this naughty ass golden birch. We've been having problems with Tim's saw cutting wavy. It's cutting like this. We've watched every video on YouTube about how to stop that. We've done everything we can. We've checked everything. Well, two things that we have here. First thing was this bar right here with the guide on it. Tim had a log come loose when he first started sawing, and it bent this. It bent it so that the backer bearing right here was probably three-quarters of an inch away from the blade, which I didn't realize. Tim didn't think it would hurt anything. He tried to straighten it out the best he could. But, unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Second thing we discovered, see these blades right here? Well, blades got hard to get with the pandemic, of course, like everything else. So, Tim found this deal on eBay and said wood miser blades five for ninety nine dollars so he bought a box and what's happened is is these blades are not wood miser they're not stamped wood miser and it turns out that they're very soft metal and actually the blade itself cupped if you looked at the blade Going down, the blade was actually cupped like this. It couldn't cut a straight law, it couldn't cut a straight board if it had to. So, I think we learned an important lesson. Even though the ad said Woodmiser blades, they were not Woodmiser blades, they were some kind of knockoff blade, and believe me, they've caused more grief and ruined more logs. Alright, so we're going to cut this knotty birch. And we'll see how it does, because the knots is where the blades really gave us a fit. All right, we'll get back with you when we start sawing. All right, before we can cut the log, Tim has to uh, wash his log. He likes to get them dirty before he brings them up here. Me, personally, I like to keep them up off the ground and clean, but Tim just likes them dirty. I like dirty logs. I love dirt. Tim Dirt. Joe Dirt. Okay, here goes the test. This is one naughty log. This is an ugly log. Cut this straight. No, we found the problem. Okay, so let's see what the verdict is. Now that's a really bad knot right there. We got just a little tiny bit, but not, not enough to notice. Everything else feels good. I think we got it. I think we got it. Alright, let's make one more cut and we'll roll it. Can't get over the knotty wood. How absolutely beautiful it turns out. This is golden birch. Can't wait to flip it to see what we got. All right, so we're going down one more piece. Look at that grain. Let's flip it over, see what we got. All right, getting away from the knots now. Getting down into the heart. All right. 
Getting right into the heart now. What kind of wood is this? It is golden birch. Golden birch. I've never heard of that. Golden birch. It looks pretty golden. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. Used for furniture. Really? Big furniture wood. What else did you find out about golden birch? Do you like to eat the leaves? And what else? And the twigs? What else? Is Who cares what resistant? else? The deer like it. <laughs> yes, it is rot resistant. It has oil in the wood. And what about the skin? What's the hat with skin? The skin will lighten on fire without a problem. Well, it's wet or dry, right? Yep. All right. Let's go down to the next piece. All right. So we're getting away from the heart now. What I'm surprised. That? This what tree, it's got a little spalting into it. That's for rotted trees. This is brand new. I know, it's a green tree. It shouldn't have spalting what? in it. But it does. I want my money back. <laughs> who, who's, who cut this tree down? I want it spalted all the way through. I could, <laughs> we could sell it in big time. It is. All right, so we're down to the last piece. Back to the knots. This tree's been down for the whole summer, but I don't know why it's got spalting started in it already. That that shouldn't have happened, but it did. We'll take it. We'll be there, too. Yeah, I see it. It's on this end, too. All right. Everything's cutting straight, flat, sawing the way it's supposed to saw, finally. Finally. After all the temper tantrums you've had with your saw. Damn Chinese steel pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was that the other saw blades, because they weren't hardened enough, when he uh, tightened it, they were actually cupping around the pulleys and the belts. They took the same shape as a, as a pulley and the belt, which caused the thing to dip and dive. I guess. Lessons learned. There's a hundred bucks and a bunch of logs we've messed up. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay away from the Chinese steel. <laughs> for Two Brothers Outdoors, I'm Rick. I'm Tim. We'll see, ya. see you later. <laughs>